Alright people, let's get straight into this one fam. The Nacon Revolution X Pro Controller. Designed for competition. Big shout out to Nacon for selling this down for me to check out and ting. Apparently it comes with Game Pass. I've seen laptops come with Game Pass. I've seen PCs come with Game Pass. But never have I seen a controller come with Game Pass included. So this, this must be the source fam. Designed for Xbox so it should be available to work on PC and ting. You got some stuff at the back there. You guys can pause and read. You guys can pause and read there as well if you, okay, that's not English, is it? Yeah, 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 that bit is in English. I, I think that bit's in English, I don't know. Um, and then you got some, oh no, this is in English here. That's, yeah, that was not, that was in Spanish, mad. Anyway, boom, man already unboxed the ting. Um, and it comes in its own little case. You know, if somebody comes to the eSports tourney and their controller is in a case. They're not messing about, cuz. Anyway, pop the thing open. It's looking good so far for the unboxing experience. And there's the thing right there, fam. I'm not gonna lie, it is looking saucy. It is looking saucy. I'm gonna grab the controller straight away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that feels nice. That does feel nice, fam, okay. R1, L1, or LB, RB, whatever their Xbox counterpart is called. LT and RT feel good. Got a USB-C hole there, fam. So it's not wireless, but it's a detachable cable. So if you do mash up the cable, you can just slap a new one in there as long as it fits in this circle, which, to be fair, does look quite big anyway, fam. Um, all the buttons feel nicely. Yeah, the sticks feel really good on the front as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, might have to do some street fighting with this thing. This thing is feeling wild. Buttons and everything, placement. Yeah, yeah, all feels good. You got your little 3.5 millimeter um, jack thing there as well. And on the back, fam, you've got all the buttons, fam. Kind of come like the Steam Deck. All right, so this button, this one right here says profile on it. Um, so I'm assuming that's switching between different profiles for where you've customized the buttons on the controller. You've got classic and you've got an advanced switch here that you can toggle to classic mode or advanced mode. So again, that must be some kind of customization thing. And you've got four customizable buttons on the back fam. Like I said, I've only seen four customizable buttons on the Steam Deck. Mostly only have two. And yeah, they, they feel like they're in a good place to hit with your middle finger. And what is this finger? Your ring finger as well, fam. So yeah, 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 yeah. That, that does feel good, fam. Let me get some gaming on though and let's see what's really good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I get the gaming on, man didn't even show you the other stuff that comes in the thing, innit? So this is a weight kit, fam. Um, you've got weights that you can put inside the controller to weigh it down so that you've got that proper professional grip. That's wild to me. Apparently, you can take off. Let me try and see if I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see that, guys? So, I've taken that bit off here. How do I, do I just slide that off? I can't even see. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder. Okay. So, you slide off this piece here, yeah? This is how these men are moving, fam. And you put a little cool weight inside. Boom. Yeah? Slap your weight in. So, your weight is slapped in now. See the weight? Then you put this back here. And mmm, controllers, controllers a bit unbalanced now, innit? So obviously we're gonna do the same to the other side. <laughs> this is wild. I thought people tried to put weight reduction things on their um, controllers, not not to add weight to it. So that's that's just wild, fam. Wait, what was the weight I put in here? I can't even remember what weight it was. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me just have a look. They kind of fit in nice and easily, like AA batteries. All right, so this was a 14 gram thing. Okay, so I'm gonna put another 14 gram in the other side. Or maybe I'm such an eSports warrior, man will put 114 and 110 in it. Maybe the off balance is what's giving me the, the competitive advantage. You know them? <laughs> That's just chatting nonsense now. <laughs> yeah, so the controller does feel heavier now. Um, for me, I'm a big guy, yeah, I prefer more grip. Mmm, but, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Street Fighter's gonna be peak with this thing. All right, now we can, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 man, to even show you guys the, the wires and thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young braided USB-C cable to USB-A. Nothing really special going on here, but it looks like we've got, what, two meters or three meters going on here? 
So this is definitely supposed to reach from your competition seat to wherever the console is. Got a little Nacon logo on the thing there as well. Yeah, nah, man, this looks this looks wicked. It looks wicked. Yeah, controller's pretty tight, pretty tight. Um, I'm not mad at it. To be honest, I didn't think I'd be mad at it because I've already reviewed the Pro Compact controllers for Nacon a couple of months ago, and I felt these felt really nice. A bit too small for my hands kind of thing, um, but they did really feel good in terms of like quality and the Nacon software, stuff like that to customize the controller and the dead zones of the analog sticks and all that stuff was like a nice little touch. And you literally get all of that and more on this Nacon Pro Controller with the added fact that you can add weights to the controller so it feels perfect for you esports warriors out there. Um, love the extra mappable buttons behind the controller as well. For games like Rogue Company for example where the D-pad right I think is defaulted to melee. Um, I just default, I think it's one of these back ones here to melee and boom, I was good to go. I was even good to melee without taking my hand off the right analog trigger, um, which is what you wanna do. Usually you have to press the trigger into melee or you have to do a madness with the buttons up here. Um, yeah, no, no, it worked very well fam. Definitely gives you the competitive advantage. Um, I mean, it is a controller, it's not keyboard at the end of the day, but it gives you the competitive advantage in a controller situation kind of thing. And I'm a controller guy. I don't really like mouse and keyboard games like that. So yeah, for me, it's a W. Um, any issues, any issues? I can't really think of any at the moment because you know, it's just a controller. You plug it in and it either works or it doesn't. This one works. Um, it's probably a couple months down the line where I'd have to see what the wear of the analog sticks is um, to see, you know, how good these analog sticks are and how durable they are to all of this hand fam, all of these sausage fingers fam. So yeah, I'll give you guys an update or if you guys need an update, shout me in it so I remember. Big shout out to Nacon and I'll catch you guys in the next one.